Hello, this is David Ferguson from MLC CAD Systems. I'm going to be walking you through one of the largest changes we've seen to Mastercam since I've been using the software. And that is, of course, the changes to the machine group properties and the way you do your job setup. So what I have on my screen here is just a, a fairly standard uh, plate style part uh, with a fixture. I've done a couple of things, and these are things I generally recommend you do before you do your machine group properties, which is one, get your part located on your fixture. I've used a bounty box to define uh, my starting piece of material here, and that's just going to make using the new interface a little bit easier if I have that sort of ready to go uh, before I get in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to our machine tab. We're just going to load a, a generic mill, and then like I usually do, or like you usually do, I'm going to go into the machine group properties and I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Files button. Now, this changes dramatically the way the interface is. In past versions, I would have had that little window that pops up with the three tabs where I can work through things. Well, this is all still the same information. Uh, it's just laid out a little bit differently. It's more in line with some of the other new functions in Mastercam. And what I have here is I have a series of tabs over here on the left for Machine, Master Model, Stock Setup, Work Holding, Tools, and my Simulation. And we'll just start with the machine tab. Now, the machine tab is where, of course, I can either select, confirm, or replace whatever CNC machine I am using. It tells me what machine I'm using, what control file I am using, and of course, what post processor I'm using. I also have some options as what I want to output with my NC as far as operational comments, uh, my start and uh, incremental numbers for my sequence numbers down there at the bottom. So all the same stuff I've had in the past, just a little bit different. Then I can go ahead and go to my master model. Now, again, this is new for Mastercam. And once it's fully incorporated, this will allow me to go ahead and set my workpiece uh, directly from my screen here. So I'm going to go ahead and select my part as my master model. And I can go ahead and click here to add that from a selection. I'm just going to click on my solid. And that'll tell me if I ask for it. Yep, that tells me that is my master model. So that designates that as my uh, workpiece. Uh, I'm then going to go down to my stock setup. And from here, uh, I don't have some of the options I had in the past. It's fundamentally these days now uh, based all around a bounding box. Now, if you're like me and you tend to have your bounding box uh, set up before you set up your stock, um, I can just use what I've already created. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I click the button to show some wireframe entities so I can see the box. And then I'm going to go ahead and click here to add that from a bounding box, even though I already have one. Once my bounding box utility pops up, I'm simply going to go to my levels, turn off my fixture, and then go ahead and select manually. Or I can go ahead and click the All Shown button to simply throw the box around, or throw the material rather, around the box that I already have. And that's going to work out okay. Gives me some dimensions as to the size, which is new for Mastercam 2023. So I can go ahead and just make sure, yep, that looks like that's what I need. Uh, I can set my material selection here, or at least I can see my material selection here. I also get, uh, what's this kind of nice, I actually get a volume by square footage there, which is kind of fun. Uh, I'm then going to go to my work holding. And here, again, I can dictate or select what I'm using as a fixture. Okay? And again, once that's fully implemented, uh, that fixture can be used in Verify and Machine Sim. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on fixtures. And then I'm going to use the option to go ahead and select one from a level. Even though that is not visible on my screen, I know that's the level that I want. And I can actually turn it back on right there if I'm not sure. I'm just going to select the level I want. And again, that designates that as a fixture. Okay. I then can go to my tool page. Okay. Uh, and the tool page allows me to set my feed calculations, my arc feed adjustments, you know, sign tool number sequentially, duplicate tools, you know, spec, uh, step, peck, and coolant options, all that good stuff. And I'll see whatever tools I have listed there. I also have a button right here to go ahead and jump right to my tool manager if I haven't preloaded any tools. So I can go ahead and just grab whatever tools I need. And then they'll go ahead and appear here in my job setup. Okay. And then finally, I have the machine simulation down at the bottom, where again, I can go ahead and select which machine I want to go ahead and use in this machine sim if that's my plan. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the initial uh, three axis vertical machining center. And then once I'm done, I can go ahead and green check. And I'm just going to go up and display my stock. And everything's in the right place. And I'm now fully set up to start machining. 
So those are the changes to the machine group properties and how we just do a very simple job setup. Thank you very much.